I got a message from one of my clients telling me that, oh, not mesmerin, I usually have heavy bleeding, heavy meses, heavy period. And I met with a farmer, I met with someone over the counter, let's put it that way. And she said that I have hormonal imbalance. And she gave me some hormone drugs to help me balance my hormone. Okay, I said good and fine. Then the next question I had to ask her was, was a test done to confirm that you have hormonal imbalance? Did Was there any test done? How did you know? How did they know that you have hormonal imbalance? And she was like, when she said the signs and symptoms that she was having bleeding, so the, the person assumed that she has hormonal imbalance. So, good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you more than 12 courses of heavy bleeding, heavy measures for those that are having it and don't know the what would cause this heavy measures or heavy bleeding. So today I'm going to be sharing with you more than 12 causes of this heavy bleeding. All I want you to do is to stay to the end and count with me how many causes of heavy bleeding I'll be dishing out today but before we go into details into this class if you are new on our youtube channel please all i want you to do right now is to click on the like button that like button click on it it helps increase the visibility of our video click on the subscribe button please subscribe to our youtube channel and also turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out in any of our videos let's go there all right welcome back like i earlier said today i'm going to be sharing with you a lot of causes of um heavy bleeding of heavy messes of heavy period so i like i earlier said at the beginning a lot of people feel that it's hormonal cause that is responsible but there is something more than just hormonal imbalance that is responsible for heavy period or heavy heavy measures for those that have not watched our video on what um are the signs and symptoms of heavy bleeding i'm going to leave the link in the description box below so you have access to it and watch it to get um the signs and symptoms that shows that oh you as a girl as a lady you are having heavy bleeding and from the previous video i also said that heavy period heavy meses is also known as menorrhagia but today's class is basically the causes so the first cause i have to share with you is the hormonal imbalance you are talking about yes so when there is hormonal imbalance there's imbalance in the hormones in a lady's hormone that can result in what in heavy meses in heavy period that you keep saying then the second cause i have here is dysfunctional ovaries dysfunctional ovaries when your ovaries are not functional pro they're not functioning properly the way they ought to be for example a lady having polycystic ovary syndrome polycystic work ovary syndrome so when a lady is having polycystic ovary syndrome this lady can either have light meses or heavy meses they can have scanty meses or heavy meses or heavy period so that takes us to the third cause of heavy meses or heavy period so the third cause i have to share with you is uterine fibroid fibroid is a topic i really want to treat on its own i believe a lot of ladies are aware of what fibroid is so as a topic i will treat specifically on a particular video so when there is fibroid in the uterus that's in the womb that can lead to a lady having what heavy meses or heavy period then the fourth cause i have to share with you is endometriosis endometriosis for those that have been watching our videos i've thrown some little light on what endometriosis is so let me do it again here endometriosis is simply the formation of uterine tissues that's things that are supposed to be in the uterus that are supposed to be in the womb those tissues there they are not developing in the fallopian tube in the ovaries so that can lead to heavy meses or heavy period then the fifth point i have to share with you is polyps 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 generally are extra tissues that are likely to be found in any parts of the body 
extra tissues that are found in any part of the body. So when polyps begin to develop in the cervix, they begin to develop in the um, in the uterus, that can lead to what heavy uh, meses or heavy period. Then the sixth point I have to share with you is adenomyosis adenomyosis see i'm trying as much as possible to break it down for my viewers to understand you know endometriosis the tissues they start developing outside the uterus in adenomyosis what is happening is that um okay before i explain adenomyosis now you see the uterus the uterus has different layer it has the outer layer it has the middle layer and it has the inner layer so the outer layer the middle layer, which is the muscle layer, and the inner layer, that is the inside layer. So tissues that are supposed to be in the inside of the womb, that are supposed to be in the inside of the uterus, they are not going into the outer layer, they are not going into the middle layer of the uterus of the womb. That is adenomyosis. And adenomyosis can lead to what? Heavy meses or heavy period. Hope you understand what adenomyosis is now. Then the other point I have to share with you is intrauterine conception, such as your coil. So this is rare, but people are likely going to have it, maybe at the beginning when they usually place it. So when you have heavy meses or heavy period, when there is an, and it could be as a result of intrauterine contraception that you did, IUD, the coil that is inserted, can make you to have such bleeding. And you see people, after... The family planning method they come back oh nurse uh, midwife i am having heavy bleeding so nurse what should i do so that is a course that you should report to your healthcare practitioner or your doctor when you notice it then another one i have eight is complication during pregnancy complications when you have complications during pregnancy that can result in heavy meses or heavy period then the ninth point I have to share with you is cervical cancer. The ninth point is cervical cancer. And the twelfth point is womb cancer. Cervical cancer, womb cancer. Womb cancer, that's uterus. That's in the uterus, now cancer of the uterus. Why I joined them together, 9 and 10, is because they are both cancer. And we all know that cancer is an abnormal growth that is found around in the cervix, it's cervical cancer. In the womb, it is womb cancer. So when there is cancer, when there's, a, there's a, an abnormal growth in the cervix or in the womb, that can result in a lady having heavy, um, heavy meses or heavy period. Then the 11th point I have to share with you is bleeding disorder bleeding disorder normally people bleed whenever when you have a cut when you have a cut you bleed and after some time it stops then it's that it has a platelet that helps to clot the bleeding but in people having bleeding disorder the platelets might not be enough the the clotting factors might not be there to help with the clotting easily so people having blood disorders can usually have heavy um, period or heavy meses that's 11th point then the 12th point is uh, medications some medications that you take some mini pills some depot 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 injection for those that know depot shots that can result in you having heavy period or heavy meses so if you are worried it's better you see a doctor to know okay why what why all these are happening and what should be done about it and then the 13th point i have here is menac we all know what menac is. Menac is the period in the lady's life. The first time she sees her meses is menac. It's more or less like the opposite of menopause. Menopause is that period when a lady starts, a woman or not a lady stops seeing her meses. Why menac is the beginning. So for most young ladies, when they start seeing their meses at the beginning, it might be heavy. The first month is heavy. It's just fluctuating. Sometimes they see this first month, it will stop for like two, three months. They won't see it again. Then later it will start again. So that heavy bleeding for those that are experiencing menac now, can, menac can, menac, sorry, can be a cause of heavy period or heavy meses. So at the beginning. So as a young lady that just started seeing your meses, you can report that to your doctor and know one or two things that you should do. So if paraventure all these things are done all these things are said and done okay but well, before i go into the last point sorry i had to cut it just pelvic inflammatory disease 
sexually transmitted infection, recurrent infection can lead to pelvic inflammatory disease. And this can actually lead to heavy bleeding, heavy meses, heavy meses, heavy period. So if it's PID, you just have to see your doctor and you get it treated as soon as possible. So if after um after you go to the doctor, they've checked everything, they did all the necessary tests, they've analyzed your ovaries, your, they've done all the tests necessary to confirm that okay, they want to really find out what you are having why are you having a heavy bleeding they want to know the cause they checked everything they found out that everything is normal and there's nothing wrong with you so we now know oh this everything is normal she's doing well her ovaries are fine her cervix is fine her womb is fine her uterus is fine there's no fibro there's no cancer there's nothing wrong we've done all the necessary tests there's nothing wrong but yet this particular person is still having bleeding there's what we call dysfunctional uterine bleeding so they will not give you a name the name of the condition after they've done the test now with dysfunctional uterine bleeding because they don't really know what's happening they don't really know what is causing it it's possible you're having some hormones uh -huh. you're having some hormone stuff you're having a production of the prostaglandins a lot of things might be responsible for that so you can have that for teens point which is dysfunctional uterine bleeding so I believe the doctor or the GP will tell you what to do after the various tests to confirm that. So you can see from our video that it is not just hormonal imbalance that is likely going to cause what? That's likely going to cause um, uterine, that's likely going to cause heavy meses or heavy period a lot of things can actually cause it but i'm not saying this i'm not telling you this to put fear in your mind i'm only here educating you so you know what are the things that are likely going to cause heavy bleeding in case you are having heavy bleeding and you feel it's normal it is not normal what i advise see a doctor go for test let them do the proper analysis let them do the proper checkup and tell you you are okay then you'll be free so don't just endure it don't just feel it's normal especially when you are having um, heavy period and you're having shortness of breath you are tired you can't even go anywhere it's something you should really talk to your doctor about and get solutions as soon as possible thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is miss mary saying thank you bye and see you in our next video